What is up, everyone? Today, I want to talk about a fucking subject, yeah, that I haven't, that I've talked about quite a lot on this channel, and I've, I've heard a lot of you people want to know what the hell it even is, or what it even feels like. So, that is what I'm going to be explaining to you today. How does bath salts feel? Okay, now, I have a bad, bad, bad experience with bath salts, and I know so many people that have came and went because of this drug. They have just completely destroyed their lives. They've completely destroyed relationships, completely destroyed their nose. And I'm not talking about bath salts that you put in your bath. I think we all know that. I think that goes without saying. But <clears throat> um, obviously we've got a few idiots out there. So uh, I do need to uh, explain that. But um, for those of you that haven't tried it, before I get into it anymore, I'm not trying to glorify it. I'm not trying to make it look like something it isn't because it is truly a disgusting horrible just disgusting drug yeah just absolutely horrible yeah you do not want to be doing this stuff if you want to keep saying it in the head you know what i'm saying first off as well i want to say i'm sorry i haven't uploaded in a few days uh yeah that's all i want to say <laughs> um so yeah Without any further ado, let's just get into it. So, I remember the first time I ever tried bath salts. My first, and I'm calling it bath salts, but because I've got a lot of American viewers, but, um, you know, it, either bath salts, MCAT, methadrone, whatever you want to call it, yeah, that's what it is, yeah, and it's just the most horrible thing. I remember the first time I ever tried this stuff, like it was yesterday, dude. I remember, man, I remember it so briefly in my head, like it was yesterday, dude, I swear, man. Um, I remember me and my friends, uh, I, I was always so scared to, to do it because I was just scared of it hurting my nose. I wasn't scared of the feeling or anything like that. I was just basically scared of it hurting my nose. And I used to go out with a lot of friends that used to do it. Uh, a few of them people I'm still friends with nowadays. And believe it or not, them they're probably the only people that aren't still on this stuff. Talking about bastards, I just found a little, you know, ah, fuck. <laughs> That's a bit disgusting, but yeah, it's there. I'm sure there's definitely more here as well. Um, yeah, I, I, I did relapse not long ago, and I feel horrible about it. I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't like talking about that kind of stuff, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I remember the first time I ever tried it, I was with all my friends, and they used to go to the school when it was closed at night time, around about nine o'clock at night or something like that. Um, they would all go there and there was this nice little cupboard bit, not cupboard, but it was like a an entrance into a door that had like a shelter bit. And dude, so many of these 14, 15 year old kids, man. When I was 14, 15, dude, all of these kids were going there to sniff cat. All of them were going there, dude. Smoke weed, sniff cat, whatever, you know. And it was just, one of the places to be if you wanted to do that kind of stuff. And I remember I used to go to these places and with my friends, I used to be too scared. I would maybe drink a little bit of Echo Falls that we just robbed from the shop or whatever, yeah. But this particular night, I was feeling a little bit too optimistic about how I was going to feel that night. And it was a Friday night. I had a bit of money on me. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it, dude. Let's get a gram. Yeah, I'm going to get myself a gram. And I'm going to sniff at my friends, we're going to stare all night and we're going to cause so much trouble. And I just wish that life could have been exactly the same as that, the, today as it was back then. Because we used to have a hoot and a holler back then, dude. We used to have the best fucking time, man. The best time. Um, you know, and I remember we, we, we got the stuff and I went down to uh, the, the bit that we always used to go to. There was no one there. We had the whole place to ourselves. There was about five or six of us. And we had a nice speaker, we had alcohol, we had a few grams of that bath salt, and we had weed, we had everything we could have wanted as a 14, 15 year old kid, man. And we're sitting in this cubby hole, dude, and I'm racking up my line thinking I'm cool as all hell because I've finally done it. And everyone's like hyping me up, like, oh, you're going to do it, you're going to finally feel it, yes, let's go. And we were all just so hyped that we were screaming. And, you know, now thinking back at it, it's kind of fucked because, like, police could have came there. There was houses all at the front with windows looking at us. But we just simply did not give a shit, yeah. We were young. We did not care, dude, yeah. The police were not coming for shit, yeah. And I was sitting in the corner, dude, away from the wind. I was racking up a line. And I remember 
I was so scared to sniff it. It was the tiniest little thing ever. Tiniest little fucking thing. And I was so scared, man. And I just do it. And I'm like... <sighs> and I didn't feel anything straight away. But I just remember my nose just... Oh my goodness, my eyes were watering. I just felt like... Oh, just so tense and just disgusted. And then they were like, right, just wait for the drip down. Wait for the drip. And then you'll start feeling it. Then start judging it then, okay? And I was like, okay, okay. And I get the drip up. And I'm like... Oop. I nearly spewed, bro. I nearly spewed. And I get the drip up and I start feeling it, dude. And I remember the feeling like it was yesterday, dude. It makes me want to just, like, jump off a fucking building, dude. I swear, man. It made me feel so good. You know, I felt so talkative. All my friends were on it as well. So we were all just having a great time. I remember I felt it just rushing up. Like, you know, you get these heebie-jeebies. Like, what I've got right now, but, like, ten times worse. You know, just even thinking back to the first time doing it. You know, you get these heebie-jeebies. You get this warm feeling in your stomach. You just get a nice, just feeling of excitement and just like just wanting to do something and just speaking and like wanting to do some like just shit that you don't like to do when you're sober yeah and you know and as soon as I started feeling it, I was like why I cannot believe this is what it feels like like holy crap I've never felt like this in my whole entire life like no feeling is going to compare to this and that's kind of where it all began dude you know and uh, you know, from that night on, I just remember I just felt so good, man. And, uh, I didn't. I was obviously a kid, so I didn't have much money. So once that gram was done, it was done. Yeah, but it lasted me the whole night. I went home, slept like nothing happened, bro. Nothing happened. And from that point on, <clears throat> it became my mission to just get at least a gram of car every single weekend, dude. Every weekend, I was just wanting to get this stuff, bro. I swear. And every weekend, me and my friends were just doing the exact same thing every single weekend. And one gram a weekend went up to two grams a weekend each. Then it went up to three, four, five, six, seven, then eventually half ounces. And here we are today. Um, you know, I, nowadays I'm better at controlling it than I was before. You know, before, if I had the tiniest little bit of money, I would have went and got, like, without any fucking issue whatsoever. I would have just went, got, boom, done. Um... And this shit will genuinely destroy your whole entire fucking life. And that feeling you get when you first do it, that feeling of excitement, that feeling of wakefulness, that feeling of, you know, just feeling like you're all one and just, you know, having a connection with your friends that you've never had before. You know, you, you all feel on the same level of greatness, you know. Um, it all changes when you when you get more heavily into it, you know, when you, when you start... Uh, do, doing it like every day and you know what I mean uh, it's actually quite sad because you know this has lasted for years and years and years and I, I know people that are still still on it every single day you know and they're just destroying their nose I know a girl that had to get a metal plate literally shoved in her nose because she burnt her whole nasal cavity out I've kind of got that same thing um, you know I remember oh just after a sesh dude like a heavy sesh like after maybe like a half ounce sesh bro next morning I would blow my nose and I would have these unspeakable things coming out of my nose dude I swear just unbelievable things bro like almost alien looking things like crawling around in my hand like when I you know what I mean I know it's disgusting to even say that but it's true man you know and you know I would pick out bits of flesh and like I would look at my finger there would be like bits of vein and like all that in my fucking in my snot I know it's, it's probably a bit too much freaking detail, but I mean, I'm spitting everywhere, but um, I know that's a bit too much detail, but you got to understand, this is what it's like, you know, I don't think any drug is worse for your nose than this drug is, because it's all crystal and you need to sniff so much of it to feel where you want to be. You know, and as you, as you get further more into the addiction and more fucked in the head with it, you know, it just doesn't feel like it used to feel, you know, you start to get paranoid and you just... You feel more of the, your senses heightened than you did at the start, you know, you don't feel like the, the excitement, the energy and like the fucking excitement, like everything, you don't feel like that, you just feel like hyper aware, just obsessed with like things that are just, you're never normally obsessed with, you know what I mean, and like, um, it's, it's one of them drugs that just make you just, it's not like any other drug on the planet. I mean, I'd say it's probably similar to meth, but I've never tried meth. Um, but the chemical symbol is kind of exactly the same. It's got like a different O group or something like that. 
So, uh, I mean, uh, you know, it, it is disgusting. It's a disgusting drug. I do not recommend doing it. It's terrible for your nose, terrible for your, for your mental health. You feel like you, and it's so dirt cheap as well. This stuff costs like £20 a gram, dude. And it's everywhere where I live, bro. Everywhere, man. It's just so difficult to get away from. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sorry if the audio is terrible as well, by the way. It's just, you know, it's this phone. Like I've said in almost every single goddamn video, my phone still hasn't been given back to me by the authorities. So, uh, hoping to get that back soon. But, um, yeah. Also, I'm going to change my name to my actual birth-giving name, if that makes sense. I'm kind of sick of the high stick man because, mate, I don't, I'm not a stick man anymore. I don't put stick man stuff up. So I'm just going to change it to Daniel Clark because, you know, I feel like the high stick man just doesn't suit the, the kind of videos that I'm making, you know, and I don't think I'll ever go back to, to the stick man stuff. You know, I want to do more in real life videos. I want to go out and I want to vlog. I want to do all that kind of stuff, yeah. Um, just understand that there are going to be a few breaks being taken here and there, you know. I, I do upload, like, a, a bunch and then I stop uploading for a little bit. It's just how things are, you know what I'm saying? It's just hard to, like, keep up the grind, you know what I'm saying? Um, you, know, you know, the reason I just didn't post uh, fucking all these days is because, um, I, like I said, I relapsed and, uh, yeah, I kind of got back on it and uh, that's not going to be happening again, I can assure you that. I just felt like absolute trash the whole fucking night you know what i mean i was just so paranoid and just like just out of my mind i just didn't like it to be honest so i um, don't think i'm ever going to be doing that shit again but um thank you for sticking with me this whole time um if you've watched to the end of the video comment zebra like i always say you know what i'm saying just comment that um if any of you just want to win um yeah if you guys did enjoy this video please like sub comment all that good shit and in a bit never try bath ta-da